Yeah, and these are two candidates, really uh, female candidates vying to be the first women to represent the state of Arizona in the Senate. And they're fighting to be making, you know, votes on stuff like this. And both of them, Democrat Kirsten Sinema, Republican Martha McSally, say this accusation should be looked at very seriously. Now, here's that statement we got this afternoon from McSally. It says this is a very serious allegation. Senator Grassley said he's reaching out to both parties for more information. Judge Kavanaugh and Dr. Ford have said they are willing to provide provide testimony on this matter that is a sensible way forward. Important context here to remember about McSally. She, she claim as she wants these claims to be heard. She also claims to be a survivor of sexual abuse. She said that happened with her coach while she was in high school. Now, likewise, Kirsten Sinema issued a statement saying the allegation is concerning and the Senate should conduct a thorough investigation before voting on judicial nominees, especially to the highest court in the U.S. should be carefully vetted and judged without partisanship. Now, I should also mention we did reach out to Senator Kyle. Remember, Senator Kyle uh, was picked, but to replace Senator John McCain, and he was acting as the Sherpa for Kavanaugh, guiding him through this process before he took that appointment. Dennis, has, has the future, has the past taught us anything about the future? Anita Hill hearings, this is all sounding very familiar. Does, do, will that have an impact on what we see from this Judiciary Committee uh, hearing on Monday? You know, it just seems like a different world, though. You know, you, you think in the past something like this, maybe, he, you know, Kavanaugh would withdraw his nomination from this or there would be pressure for him to withdraw his nomination. But we do have a president, remember, he doesn't apologize. He moves forward. He, you know, he, he, he wants to get things done his way. Um, he's made maintaining his support right now uh, for Kavanaugh and whatnot. So we'll have to see how this all plays out. Be a lot of fireworks on Monday uh, with that, with that uh, uh, hearing in the Senate. We'll be hearing a lot more on this political editor. Dennis Welch, thank you very much.